Sinko, you dead, man. Sinko, you dead. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Hope you guys have enjoyed us uh, playing some Undead Nightmare. We're doing some cool runnings here, I can tell you that. Hey oh, shit. Sinko. Your horse, your old horse is still there. Is he still there? look out. No, that's Wait, my, that... that's the Bigfoot. Wait, that's no, that's even sadder. There's my horse. Yeah, there he is. On the cliff face. I thought I saw old bird sienna out there somewhere. <laughs> so last episode we talked a little bit about some paranormal stuff. I, th oh, I yeah. really like getting into the the controversy and the uh, the paranormal stuff is kind of you know with a take it with a grain of salt, but it's it's fun to just theorize and come to some like really weird conclusions and. Mm -hmm. How people got to that conclusion it's really fun there's that one uh, canadian i don't know if he was a senator or like a defense minister or something but he came out in like oh yeah 2012 and was talking about like canada and the u.s and nato and shit having this like alliance with what was it the nordics or whatever like these aliens they call the nordics and they just they look like really tall nordic people like aliens that look like white people mm -hmm. and they're just really tall and then like they're in a war against like the small greys, like they're yeah, small greys and like tall greys, and one of them are like one of them is really evil and the other is just kind of like benign like group of scientists, but they look like your generic like image of an alien alien, just little grey guy, almond shaped eyes, big heads. But yeah, that was around 2012, I think. 2012. And what were we talking about before where they, I think Roger brought it up, where a, uh, they're interdimensional that the big feet re record or like try to gather crew people to like fight against aliens? Yeah, there's yeah. some, it was, I'm trying to find it. The, the last star thing fighting. on it. But the, yeah, the thing was they're saying there's a secret project and they're developing these like human super soldiers. Um, I think they're like hybrids of some sort, something like that, to go then help an alien species that we're al aligned with or allied with to fight a war with like essentially like reptilians or oh, some shit. shit, some shenanigans you guys on that booger? another planet through like a portal. And there was, I don't know if it's the same story, I think it was, but they had also had some like something called like the black chair or some shit like that that was like a. Uh, thing they used that was like a portal for like psychic shenanigans too oh. like like weird like brainy thing yeah I don't know it was brainy thing brain. <laughs> yeah, weird brainy <laughs> thing brainy for me Arnold <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah it was, I'm trying to find shit my guy wasn't weird fucking obviously stuff. it was and it was like some underground that was good hey Arnold too by the way the Halloween episode yeah. the one with the fucking train to hell. Oh no, the Halloween God. episode where they fool everybody into thinking that the water tower was an alien landing pad. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the episode where they bring up the one. Royal Fork in North Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. Where Helga's dad was yeah. telling the story. Beeper Bob wakes up. <laughs> Beeper <laughs> Bob. Yeah, he, he wakes up in fucking Bismarck, North Dakota in the parking lot of a Royal Fork. Yeah, that's right. It's the best. That means that they've been there and they witnessed. I worked at a fucking Royal Fork. <laughs> And to nasty. those, to those, Royal Fork is basically like a golden corral. Didn't last as long. No, mm -hmm. I, didn't, I don't think Royal Fork was a chain. Well, I mean, there, there was there, one in Bismarck, wasn't there? Yeah, there was one in Bismarck, one in oh, Fargo, is it just native one to in it's like North, North Dakota, North Dakota, Dakota, North Dakota or maybe maybe the tri-state area. But I, I mean, know. they're not any around anymore because I mean, why does royalty have to work? Yeah, true. <laughs> that place was sketchy. Though. Monarchies, yeah. Jeez. Hey, this is a zombie pups. Don't do anything. Don't look, Bracho. Bracho, don't look. <laughs> That's probably your father. Your great grandfather, maybe. Oh my great, 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 great grandfather. Make them Jeez, out. overkill there, Sean. He needs a rest. It's a Swiss dog now. Taking that, buddy. <laughs> Man, I got like no ammo. You just unloaded all of it into that dog. <laughs> yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> That's alright, you're on your way to see Seth. Yeah, I think. Yep. Who's Seth? Seth's the grave, grave robber. robber guy. Oh, okay. Seth is a good name for a grave robber. Should yeah. I save Thieves Landing? Nah, just go to Seth. Yeah, just, just continue with the story. It's been a while. Oh, no. Oh, I almost, like, jumped the fence. You don't want to sleep here. I guess that's the only reason why you would. 
Yeah, well, that's the only way you can save. Cause they got rid- I think they got rid of the campsites in Undead Nightmare. Oh, okay. I don't think you'd want or to the sleep camping outside kit. anyways. Mm. Unless you had a tree house. Yeah. Let's go see what Seth's up to there. I bet he is dancing with some corpses. Yeah. Having a good old jig. Oh, chat. Come on. Come on. He's playing cards. Seth, you okay? What's going on? Oh, you there, John. Did you get a card? Not right this minute. You remember Moses, John? Hmm. He's a dark-eyed Moses. Come here, boy. Do you kill Moses in the main story? I don't remember. I don't think you do. I think you just like you interrogate him a little bit. And... We were boyhood friends, John. <laughs> Moses is having a tough time right now. Ain't you back? What did Moses say? It's just he's one of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, with the undead walking the face of the earth, you crazy dumb bastard. Just eyeballing John. He's like, ooh, you look tasty, boy. Gonna we'll take a big bite out of you. This is the story exactly. What are we talking about? That it has been thing. silent for like two minutes. I've been watching the cutscene. Watching, watching the cutscene. Cut I was, uh, I found something. I think it might be similar anyway. This dude talks about uh, these human super soldiers that were, like, raised and bred and then, um, and then deployed out for the Mars Defense Force. What? On Mars, and he says Mars is, has breathable atmosphere and can be quite warm sometimes. And then he uh, he went there with like there was like um, where's the fucking breakdown? Who is this guy? Breaks down the the different the races. The what? Races. The races. The races. The different races. Um, Saurians, Arcturans, Andromedans, and other things, whatever, and some bronze beings, and they're fighting against, like, dragon dudes, uh, the reptilians, for the, for, to help the, like, native Mars people. Martians. Well, yes. They're called, yes. Yeah, but they're not, they're, I guess, in the fact that they're from Mars. Yeah, they're Martians, we're Earthlings. Do you yeah. think they look like Marvin Martians? I don't know. <laughs> Marvin's Martians? I'm going to blow up the earth. Oh no, a big boom. <laughs> Do we really want to save that guy? He was kind of mean. He was pretty inept too, though. I mean, he's entertaining. Yeah. He that was a boom. We just got to throw boom. a rabbit on Mars and he won't be able to do yeah. shit. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Seth. That was pretty good. Yes. Good job. Well, we got to do the New Austin Graveyards. That's the closest one. Well, let's do the main green missions. We we'll have to. Don't we have to clear out the graveyards as part of the main mission? Or I think we just follow the undead until there's no like. Dinner for two. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> Is that Choya Springs? Is that how you pronounce it? Mm -hmm. Choya. Yeah, Choya. It's probably Chola. Cholia, but everyone in the game calls it like Chola or Cola, or no, not Cola. Cola? Chola Cola. Chola Cola. Cola. Missed the fork. 
So is there a reason that it's so misty out, or is that just to be spooky? I think that's just this area. This area, it's like uh, it's marshland. Kind of marshland? Yeah. Some coyotes. Coyotes yipping. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit surprised with how many different like biomes they were able to fit in this map. I know. Oh, mythical, mythical creature. creature. Gotta find him. After we last this. Oh, it's this, war. It's war. We gotta get this guy. Dude. We're gonna capture war, then we're gonna call this an episode. Hell yeah! How does your lasso yeah. work on him? It's a magic lasso. It's like Wonder Woman's lasso of truth. Dude, ride that. Oh yeah, get horse. Get horse. Come on, war. You're gonna be my buddy. You're gonna burn many a zombie together. That's awesome. Woo! 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 Keep yourself Woo. centered. Woo! It's Woo. so zen. Yeah, dude. Woo. Woo. It's like yoga. Woo. There's no Find your center. good nor evil. Woo. There's just. Is. It just is. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got Look at war. those god rays. Yeah. Nice. Thanks, guys, for joining us. We, cap we captured war and we talked we did to it. Seth. We're on our way to some more side quests. We... Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Farewell. See you. I got a horse.